Hello Capricorn, welcome on my channel, Tipple TV Tarot. This is your girl DM and I'm back with another reading. Yeah, this is the reading for June 2020. Monthly general love reading for my caps out there. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, any planets if you have Capricorn. If this reading resonates with you, this is for you. So keep in mind this is a general reading. You can come to me for personal if you want it. Check out the description box for all the personal and private readings. So let's find out what is happening with my caps let's see for the month of june 2020 let's check out what's happening um first of all i will check up what is happening in your life then i will check up the person energy that who is coming towards you we have the second house so yeah and then we have the north node Ooh, la 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 this could definitely capricorn this is your work this is about your business this is something about your business. We have Leo. Everyone is getting Leo, especially Pisces. Okay. Um, so yes, yeah, second house could be not Node. You maybe your you maybe your second house in Leo. Um, maybe you're not Node in second house, or maybe not you're not Node in Leo. So yeah, there's something going on with this North Node here. Wow, your soul is calling you to do something here with the business, with the second house. Definitely, this is, you are Capricorn, obviously, all about ruled by business. You are ruled by your work, your assets, your beliefs, your resources, um, what you want and get what you need patiently. So this is like a second house and we have the North Node here. Wow, this is like your... This is meant to be whatever your uh, you need to start this business. You need to start this work. This is like your saving. Uh, you may be investing in something. You may be buying the property, buying a house, buying a uh, you know some assets for you for yourself. This could be so talking about your beliefs, your belief system. This is like uh, trying to change. I'm strongly seeing your change is coming. Strongly. It's, it's like a major and huge change is coming in your um, second house. Obviously, this is this is work. This is business. Um, this is your benefits. This is your profits. Um, this is your belief system. This could be your family, your your closed ones, um, partnerships with other peoples in business. And then we have the Leo, the sign of you know ruled by sun, leadership, creativity, children. You know, making families, children, taking a chance, self-confidence. Wow, this is like you're, exp you're definitely, you're, you're expressing yourself here in your work field. Whatever your, whatever your work field is here, you could be starting something that what your soul is calling to do that. This is what your mission is in this lifetime. Yeah, because we have the not node. This is what you mean to do here, you know. Some of you could be going through this Saturn return and finally you know it. You finally know it. Wow. Some of you could be starting your business, starting your, you know, some type of your creating your business field, um, starting a, you know, franchise, starting your own products, you know, creativity like your, your definitely, I would say that your branding, you know, you're starting your own brands. Or whatever creative field is this is what your business is your belief system i'm also picking up some of you could be buying a property like a large and huge type of property and you're investing in it this could be charity too like you could be starting something like ngos or working with great uh, organizations and like a business partnership with those peoples this is great guys whatever you guys are doing here taking the lead you may be a leadership. You may be starting your own, you know, something that creating in your own life. You know, taking the lead in your business, in your work, at your family, you know. Yeah, this could be, a, you know, some type of makeup products, beauty products that you're launching. You could be working with the beauty or entertainment industry or something. We have trust. Yeah, this situation is calling you to have faith. Whatever you are doing, whatever whatever you are investing or saving, this is like, trust that. This is a good thing for you. We have, this could be the one. You have already met the romantic partner you seek. Yeah, we have the North Node. Some of you could be dealing with your soulmate. Or your soulmate is coming. 
because this person mean to be in your life whatever is north node is so please see your north node uh, location in your chart in your birth chart you will know it whatever you have to do what is your life mission in this lifetime you know so what i'm picking up here maybe you're already with your soulmate maybe you already you're going to meet this person through this mission that you're on it whatever you're creating in your life you're going to meet this person children your love life is being affected by children and we have the leo that is the ruled by sun okay the fifth house and children ruled by fifth house so there's something like a could be starting some charity work or could be starting a children's school you know schooling for children you know something involved with the children maybe and maybe you are doing some stuff with your children you know investing and you know buying a property in the name of your children or buying you know starting some organization or brands in the name of your children i don't know what you are doing but this could be related with the children here and this could be uh, when you meet this person you will have a children you know obviously you have that not noticed basically your destiny you mean to do this thing and you may mean to meet this uh, you mean to be with this person whoever this person is maybe they have children already you know like or maybe you have children and you're you know coming into union together you know of making a family but this is like a self-confidence with the leo energy there's something that you're doing it very confidently and it's like just trust that just trust this process this could be your love life this could be your work this could be your business anything or maybe um you're ready to make a children you're ready to adopt the children i don't know what you're doing proud yes this is here yeah this could be success this could be organization you're feeling really proud and you will feel very proud in this month this could be um progress this could be success is coming in your way happy wow yeah i feel that this could be your oh my god this could be if you're not this if you are not doing this in uh, whatever you i'm talking about this could be that person that you're dealing with they're going through this major change and huge change your destiny is calling you whatever it is it's your business work related anything with an art node okay and this could be the one and we are happy so yeah happy changes are coming for you you're going to meet your destined partner and you will very feel very proud on this so maybe you're already with your destined partner your soulmate your lover you know and if it's not then you're going to meet this person maybe through your children through your work through your business and we have discussed it yeah yeah i feel here something happening here so maybe some of you you're leaving something behind yeah leaving the trash behind trash people behind trash work behind and being happy and proud whatever you, the whatever the path you're choosing or whatever the person you are choosing yes wow that's great capricorn this is what your highlight is of the month of june 2020 okay let's see from the tarot who is coming towards you capricorn this could be your energy too like you're having this feelings for someone or this could be definitely talking about who is coming towards my caps people out there let's see let's check up who is this person coming towards my capricorn in the month of june in love nine of wands we have knight of swords three of pentacles let's see what is this nine of wands about so this could be a fire sign aries leo sagittarius especially sagittarius and we have earth energy maybe another earth sign virgo taurus or capricorn we also have air gemini libra aquarius yeah let's see bottom of the deck we have the moon okay so it could be cancer scorpio pisces especially cancer hmm so i don't know why these peoples are not coming like maybe this is that someone that you dealt with let me tell you if you're looking for new you can click off this reading right now you can click off this video because i will talk about definitely you deal with this person you're dealing with this person you have on break on this person four of swords there was no communication between you and this person 
So whoever this person is coming towards you, their overall energy is the moon for the month of uh, June 2020. So they could be deceptive right now. They're not talking to you. They're not expressing about their feelings. They could have a fear um, that you will reject them. They could have a fear that they can't be with you right now. This could be their own insecurity, like they can't trust you. And they have some trust issues, obviously, about this, uh, that they are, they're having a difficult time to follow their heart, follow their intuitions, okay? They... Maybe you are dreaming about this person. You know this person. Whoever this person is, you know it. Uh, you may be dreaming about this person or you saw this person in your dreams, okay? Um, some of you, maybe you're not talking to this person anymore. You're you're definitely under rest, no communication. And you may be working on yourself. You're maybe working on your business, creating some projects, your work, okay? And for others of you, maybe you're waiting for this person, like, to communicate with you. But overall, definitely there was no communication, there was a break between you and this person. Nine of Wands. So this person, whoever this person is, like they're guarded up because of their insecurities, because of their trust issues, because they could be back and forth in your life for some of you. Uh, this could be someone foreigner. Uh, you know, they live far from you because we have three of Wands. Um, maybe uh, they could be far, 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 far from you because definitely they can't meet you in reality. Or some of you, maybe this person is um, emotionally distant on you. Like they were never uh, there for you emotionally. Or maybe right now they are not available. For some of you, this person was distant because they were too much focused on themselves, their work, their business. And they don't have a time for love, emotions, and feelings. Okay, so this is that type of person. Mm, some of you, this could be uh, a person that uh, you are the mother of this person child okay yeah like you have a connection with this person like separation here there's a distance here there was no communication so i feel that in the month of june this person is coming with the knight of swords you know with a different strategy they want to talk with you eight of pentacles this time this person really want to make work with you whenever this person will approach you they will come with the serious and solid offer like they really want to be with you in reality, it's not like they just want to be there, like you're talking, they're not talking, you are there, they're not there available, uh, like emotionally or, you know, physically or whatever the reason was. It's not. Some of you, maybe you're working with this person, like your co-workers or you studied together in university, college, something like that. You definitely know this person. There was a break because I see that you dealt with this person. There was a break. This person break your heart. Um, because there was no communication or maybe there was other people's involvement or maybe there was a distance whatever the case was or it could be deception now we have the three of pentacles here this person definitely want to work with you it will not be only now one-sided it was in the in the past one-sided energy from your side or maybe from their side four of swords they could be contemplating how to come how to approach how to tell you um but they are positive. They're really hopeful about this thing that, that will solve between you and this person. What I am seeing here with this moon energy, like this person want to confess now. Uh, they want to share their feelings. They want to tell you how they feel. Because the moon is like, yeah, look at this ten of swords. Yeah, this was a painful ending, you know, between you and this person. This was a separation. You know, this person was deceptive or you were deceptive. There was no communication. You you felt like this person took advantage of you. They um, took advantage of your heart, your feelings. But I feel like they really get hurt by these um, feelings. Now they're really healing. This could be their past, you know, haunting them. There's something happened in the past, um, you know, or they were releasing something from their past to work with you, to be with you. Maybe you don't know it. Maybe they never tell you. Maybe they never express it. But now they want to tell you what I'm picking up here. There's something happened. This person was releasing. Whoever this person was. There could be fears. This could be deception. This could be their, their mother issues. This could be the mother of their children. This could be a karmic situation that they were in. And they're releasing. They're definitely releasing something. And they're healing. Right now they're healing. They're trying to sort things out and they really want to work with you. So I definitely feel this is someone that you dealt with or you have a family with. You have this love with. You have this romantic feelings with. Remember, this was came up like past life relationships. So maybe you have this past life connection with this person and it's coming. It's back and forth. But you never left this person. This person never left you. 
this was only a separation okay but now i feel these things is really happening in reality this person whenever this person will approach you whenever uh, because it, it's it's different for different peoples but i picking a majority here here yeah, this person is coming in the month of june and this time they really are hopeful and they really positive and they really want to make things work with you you can trust this person this time okay but obviously it's up to you okay so that's your reading uh give the thumbs up subscribe my channel i will see you in the next video bye god bless you all